Today is the 29th of May, 2012. We are doing a home interview in Rexford, New York. My name is Wayne Clark. I'm with the New York State Military Museum. Sir, for the record, would you please state your full name and date and place of birth, please? My name is Milton Soroka, S-O-R-O-K-A. I was born in New York City, brought up in New York, went to school in New York. When were you born? 11 November 22, 1917. Okay. Went to school in New York, graduated as a dentist. Now, now, um, do you recall what year you graduated from high school? Not high school. Okay. <laughs> and where did you go to college? Went to New York University. Hmm. And from there I went to dental school. Okay. And you graduated in 1941, opened a little practice in Brooklyn, New York. And after being in practice for six months, this was during the war. Okay. Do you recall where you were when uh, you heard about the attack on Pearl Harbor? Yes, I do. Vividly, too. I had just been married. Mm-hmm. I had just been married and coming out of a theater, the newspapers and the newspaper boys screaming about, not war declared, but uh, it was December 11th, mm -hmm. the day of the attack. Was it? December 7th. 7th, whatever. Yep. At 94, you don't remember too well. <laughs> <coughs> So, were you drafted into the service? No, I signed up. You, okay. uh, I think the ad they called it Water Street, down in Manhattan, and uh, and that was it. And then suddenly I get a postcard at my home, mm -hmm. telling me I'm in the army, <laughs> and to report to Camp Shelby, Mississippi with a quartermaster unit, 194th quartermaster battalion. Mm -hmm. Now, how did you get down to Mississippi? <laughs> I bought a railroad ticket, got on the train. <laughs> All right. And you, uh, <clears throat> obviously, you had a set of orders. Just tell it, I get, there's a postcard somewhere. Okay. And that was it, just on a postcard, report to, it didn't even say that I'm in the Army. Mm -hmm. It just said, report to Camp Shelby. The address, I don't know whether they addressed me as lieutenant or not. All right. So, but, uh, so you reported down there? Yeah. I your... went out and bought a uniform, mm -hmm. got a book on how to be an officer, got on the train, and they gave me two weeks' notice to close my office mm -hmm. and report to Camp Shelby, Mississippi report to a quartermaster battalion. What was life, life for you down in Mississippi? <clears throat> Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What kind of duties did they have you assigned to? Well, I was with them in this battalion, mm -hmm. and uh, I examined the two companies that we had at that time. Those that I saw um, on uh, examination requiring dental care, I brought to, I get them to come to the dental clinic in Camp Shelby and took care of them and that was it. Mm -hmm. I, there were a thousand men, I think, at that time that I took care of. Now, the uh, dental work you were doing, uh, what, overall, what, what kind of condition were the teeth uh, A in? dental clinic. Mm -hmm. So they were up to date as far as dental care was concerned. But uh, uh, all I had for myself was an old fashioned sewing machine. You know, you step on a treadmill, a tread wheel, like an old singer sewing machine. The drill, <coughs> that hurts just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Uh -huh. And of course, I had emergency, a bag with emergency care. Mm -hmm which was basically Novocaine, 
a syringe, and forceps for extractions, which I never had to use. Uh huh. Now, how long were you down there? Six months. Mm -hmm. From there, I went to uh, with the battalion. Yep. I went to uh, uh, Louisiana maneuvers. Maneuvers in Louisiana. Oh. They stayed there for six months, and interestingly, the colonel made made me into a PX officer. I wasn't doing any dentistry, so. He assigned me as a PX officer, and I would go into uh, Camp Polk, Louisiana, mm -hmm. uh, Alexandria. I'm not well, sure where. Anyway, around there somewhere. And I'd become a <laughs> candy store owner. <laughs> so you were. Well, we had the <coughs> wristwatches, all sorts mm -hmm. of things that a, a guy would want. So you were responsible. And we were there for in the woods for six months, and then went to uh, transfer to uh, uh, for desert training. Hmm. Do you recall where that was? Western Virginia. I think Christmas of '42. Okay. Oh, thereabouts. Let's see. You went in. Uh, you went in in September of '42. So. No, then I was probably '43, probably. Somewhere in. Maybe early '43. Okay. <clears throat> and from desert training, they transferred us into jungle training. So my battalion became involved with jungle warfare. Although we were only ordnance, mm -hmm. or we were changed from quartermaster to ordnance. Now we, I, w I was stationed at Fort Ord in California, which was a great, great camp, and that was a great experience. And I did, I learned to live in the jungle. Mm -hmm. That was it. Were you doing and for New Year's of that year, the following New Year's, we went overseas. Okay. When you were at Fort Ord, were you doing any dental work at all there? No. No? Still PX and training? Just military training. Okay. And In fact, the colonel shipped me back to, uh, for medical training, not for, for field training field service in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Carlisle, okay. Camp Carlisle. Yep. Now, did you get to go home before you went overseas? Well, I was in Camp Carlisle, so it was every weekend we'd train from there to New York. I see. So I had every weekend, I don't recall how long we were there, but maybe, maybe two, three weeks. Okay. When you went overseas, did you go over with your unit? Yes. Yes. And do you recall the name of the ship you went over on? A large ship that was, I think it was <coughs> USS America. Okay. Large okay. ship. Probably a liber probably I was no sick liberty for four ship. days. <laughs> How was the food? Excellent. Uh-huh because uh, it had been newly transferred into transportation. So we were among the first troops to use that. It still had, well, Filipino service, white tablecloth. Mm -hmm. Now, did you stop? Okay. Did you stop in Hawaii? No. No? Went straight across to uh, New Guinea. Oh, okay. And what was your impression of New Guinea when you, you got there? The moment we got there, we were hit with an air raid. Oh. You know, we weren't trained for all these things, and suddenly I'm looking for a hiding place aboard a ship and uh, found something to hide behind. And that was it. 
Was the ship we, damaged we at all? We didn't get off the ship in Milne Bay. Mm -hmm. We continued on. We were there for a day or two aboard ship, then went to Finchhaven, and that was a battle zone mm -hmm. in New Guinea. We landed there, there again. My colonel set me up. He wasn't a colonel at that time, but he set me up as an army officer. I sat in a hole with a machine gun with a couple of other guys mm -hmm. and spent the night that way. Hit with a, one air raid that night. Did you see any of the Japanese at all? Dead ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how long were you in that area for? Possibly a month, and then we were attached to one a division to make a landing in Hollandia, again up mm -hmm. the New Guinea coast. Mm -hmm. uh, we we were D, a D-Day unit, but probably H eight H hour, mm -hmm. not a yeah. So the landing itself for us, although we did the same thing everyone else did, climb down ropes aboard from a board ship, made the landing. All right. <coughs> set up. I learned to be a, an A, almost as an aide. Okay. To the colonel. Now, what kind of weapon did you carry? Besides the I dentist carried a grill. carabine. No, I carried a carabine and a forty-five. Okay. So you were acting. And the guys taught me how to tear it apart. Mm -hmm. So I learned to do that with my eyes closed. So you were basically acting as an infantry officer. It sounds yeah. like. Okay. Even though I was in D.C., I was still. Uh, well, I didn't not learn ordnance, mm -hmm. but I was part of it. I see. And you were also at uh, Moratai and Mendenago? Oh, uh, from, uh, from Hollandia. Yeah. We also, we were the first troops off the island uh, attacking a little island called Moratai. Mm -hmm. And after that, we uh, attacked in, when I say we attacked, we were attached to units that did the attacking as an ordnance help, you know, with mm -hmm. uh, ammo, trucks, tanks, things mm -hmm. of that nature. And we made the landing in Luzon, uh, in Mindanao. Mm -hmm. What was we your worst landing? Muslim. What was your worst landing? I didn't have any. No? Did you, uh, did you see any live Japanese or no. just, just dead ones? Never. Okay. All right, and how many men did you have under you? About 10 or 12, mm -hmm. thereabouts. And we, uh, we, we had a few bad moments, bad nights. By that I mean infiltration mm -hmm. by the Japanese. Any uh, bonsai attacks or mortar attacks at all? No. 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 The closest I came to it, and I shouldn't have done it, but I never, th I shouldn't even tell you this. My medical officer was sick, mm -hmm. deathly sick. So without thinking, I automatically threw him into a Jeep and drove him up the beach mm -hmm. to a field hospital. But that, I, don't, don't even report this. Well, don't worry about it. No, I don't think so. This is only between you and me. Because it turned out that we had no officers hmm. when I left. But I just didn't think of it. I just, mm -hmm. I know he was sick and he had to be at the, in a hospital and I drove mm -hmm. him up the beach. You did what you thought was best. Hmm? You did what you thought was best. Without thinking of it. Now, did you, uh, have any problems, or did your unit have any problems with tropical diseases like malaria or dengue fever? 
No. No? No, we we were part of uh, mosquito control. Mm -hmm. So we did that. What, what oil, the... oil, ponds, lakes. Okay, so you just put oil on the ponds? Okay. All right. And did you have to take any kind of malaria tablets? We like took out the tablets. Adabrin? Automatically. Okay. What about, um, what about things like uh, land crabs or spiders or snakes, scorpions, anything like that? Well, we were ordnance and we did repair service. Mm -hmm. When the war, I have pictures somewhere, when the war was over, we had all the tanks and trucks lined up in the fields uh, for cosmoline. No. Oh. Hmm. We were getting ready for, when the war was over, we were getting ready for uh, the invasion. Japanese. We were, our troops were, my battalion was signed up okay. to go uh, to Japan or take participate. Do you remember uh, when President uh, Roosevelt died in April of 45? No. No? All right. And uh, what about... Uh, when you heard about the dropping of the atomic bomb, well, I was all for it. Did you did you have any idea that one one or two bombs could be that powerful? No. I thought it was be a good way to end the war. Mm -hmm. They were the unfortunate. They started it, mm -hmm. so they were entitled. Mm -hmm. to be finished with it. Now, where were you when uh, Japan surrendered? Do you recall? In Mindanao. Mm -hmm. Was there a lot of celebration? No. No? So once Japan surrendered, you started getting the equipment ready to ship back to the States, or did they just destroy any of it? Because I heard, I've heard tales of them <laughs> Destroying a lot of things. I, I was telling, I was telling my daughter about what they did to hundreds of vehicles. Well, the war was over. Mm -hmm. Not that we celebrated, but my colonel couldn't wait to go marching down Canal Street in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So when, when did you go back to the States? Uh, when did I go back? Well, let's see. You, uh... I you... was officially discharged in February of 46. Yep. And so I came back probably December of 45 or... What what uh, camp did you go back to? I didn't. I came back uh, uh, mm -hmm. under Red Cross. My father had had a heart attack and uh, Red Cross got the message to me mm -hmm. and put me on the very next ship from the, from the Philippines. Oh. And I got to, they gave me my 201 file to carry. I carried my carbine with me. I carried my 45 with me aboard ship. Mm -hmm. We landed in uh, Oakland. They put me on a train to New York, and that was it. I, I, I mean, they didn't treat me. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I assume you turned your, your rifle in. I just, I beg your pardon? I said, I assume that you turn your carbine in, right? <laughs> yes. Not the 45. But it dis my 201 file, which I carried with me, disappeared. I don't have it at all. And uh, I don't know what happened. Mm. And the same thing with the gun. Disappeared. Okay. Unimportant, but still. So <clears throat> you were discharged in uh, well, it was the twenty eighth of February of forty six. Once you were discharged, um, 
Did you go back into private practice? I, yes, eventually, in Herkimer, New York. Oh, I see. And I was in practice there from the end of the war, from, well, from April of 46 until I retired in 1998, 99. Really? So I was in practice in Herkimer for about 50, uh, 54, 55 years. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Well, I'm 94 now. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you retired in your late 80s, huh? Your middle 80s. Uh, so. 80, 87. 87? What? 70s. 78 or something. Okay. Well, thereabouts. All right. Now, did you, uh, did you uh, stay in contact with anyone you were in service with? No. No? Did you attend any reunions at all? I don't know, even know if we ever had. You see, we were a single battalion, and we'd become attached to a division making the landing. Mm -hmm. You could probably go on the internet and find out if they, they've had any reunions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the units had. Uh, have associations, uh, and the unfortunate thing is with the World War II vets, a lot of them have disbanded because because of the mortality rate. Actually, the way it was supposed to work, we were but uh, we were part of medical detachment, and we were attached to the 194th Ordnance Battalion headquarters, mm -hmm. HQ. We were attached to them. And the headquarters uh, group, my colonel, ordnance officer, the men are part of him, and we would pick up, on a landing, we would pick up companies, and uh, so on the, at each landing we had different companies. Mm -hmm. And the purpose was for the, com for the colonel to organize the uh, ordnance work on a landing. Mm -hmm. well, the ammo company, uh, repair service. Okay. When you were uh, stateside or overseas, did you see any USO shows at all? Yes, one. One on the beach, and I don't remember where it was. But, uh, uh, we had a singer and a comedian, Frances, hmm. is that her name, second name? Let's see, it was a Frances Ford. Well, Jerry Colonna was a comedian that used to make the rounds. I think he. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we were on the beach, so we were mm -hmm. part of it. Did you? We were never inland anywhere. No, in Hollandia we were. In fact, in Hollandia, the, part, the colonel put me on a scouting mission to find a bivouac area. <laughs> <laughs> Dental officer. <laughs> did you? Uh, did you join any um, veterans organizations the like FW, the VFW okay. in Herkimer? What about the Legion? But I'm not a beer guzzler, so <laughs> <laughs> I, after a year or two, I dropped okay. out. All right. How do you think your time in the service changed or affected your life? Well, it was three and a half years of my life. Mm -hmm. It was three and a half years of developing a practice. They were important years, and it was dedicated to the Army. Mm -hmm. Now, they, they did not draft me into the Army, so I have no, no feelings of guilt. I just went and signed up, yeah. and that was it. Okay. And you were married at the time? Yes. How did your wife feel about you enlisting? I don't remember. <laughs> I mentioned that to Barbara, my daughter. Okay. I don't remember. Okay. My wife died at an early age, so my second, oh, where was she? <laughs> Uh, okay. 
Did you uh, ever make use of the GI Bill to, to buy a house or for your practice? No. No? Oh, yes. I think for a month or two. Mm -hmm. For a month or two while I was looking for a place to practice, I was on the something, some. Oh, form. they had something they called the 5220 Club. I don't know. It was like uh, an unemployment insurance. Possibly. Yeah. I said for a month or two. Yeah. And uh, in my driving around, I found a place in Herkimer, mm -hmm. and I settled there. Okay. Now you've got uh, you've got some photographs. You got quite an album here. So That's my daughter's work. <laughs> okay. What I'll do is uh, I'll let you go through it, and then you can uh, hold this up in front of you, and I can zoom right in on the right. on some of the the photographs. Is there anything in particular you wanted to show us? Well, you want me to look at it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I really don't know. Oh, that's a picture of my wife at that time. Now, I see, uh, is, that a, is that a telegram? Right at the top? Yeah, that was it. That was the telegram? Uh, see, September, Camp Shelby, Mississippi. Okay. If you can hold that up in front of you, I can zoom right in on it. I'm getting a little bit of glare. Uh, can you just push that back a little bit? Yeah, that's perfect right there. Okay, I got that. And uh, let me, that photograph, is that you in uniform with your wife? Yes. Right below it? Okay. Yes. Okay, got it. All right, is there anything else in the book you want to show us at all? Oh, there's one picture with MacArthur. Oh. Where, uh, Barbara? Oh. Is that? No, but that's... Is, is there one with MacArthur? That, I'll ask Barb. <laughs> but you might want to show that. I was going to say, hold that up in front of you and I can zoom in on it. Okay, that's you in the upper left, or upper that's right hand in. corner. Yeah, that's me and all of them. Okay. Let me just zoom in on a couple of them. Okay, so you you met MacArthur. Look. Where's that little picture I have of MacArthur on the landing with us? Is it in that Is book? That, hmm? Is it in that book? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. <coughs> Here, let me take that picture. Oh. So did you get well, to? Here's the field service that I told you about, at Carlisle. Okay. I don't know whether you want that. Oh, sure. I can zoom in on that. I'm getting a kind of some glare there. Yep, that's good right there. Just hold it right there. Okay, got it. All right. I got it. Now, you said you got to meet MacArthur. You no, know. no, 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 just a photograph. Oh, okay. I would have been pushed aside by, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, here we were aboard ship. Now, I don't know whether you want to see this or not. There's let, my medical officer aboard let, ship. Let, let me see if I can... Uh, get up close here and maybe I can oh yeah 
Here's my examination in the field. Get too close, I, it, it blurs out on me. Take a second to come back and focus. Okay, it's about as good as I'm going to get. Okay, and this that where are those two fellows standing side by side? One of here I am, and that's the medical officer. Okay, is that the fellow that uh, you took by jeep <laughs> to the to the hospital? Yes, that's the one. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. All right, were there any other photos that you wanted to show us? Oh, here's that lineup I told you about getting... The one down in the bottom? No, no, this one. This long one. Oh, okay. It shows all the... Uh, Let me see if I can... Trucks, tanks, lined up. Okay. Ready to be... No, one second. I don't know if I can... Okay, I'm getting glare. Can you just tilt it back a little bit? Can you take it out of the book? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to focus in on it, unfortunately. The war was over at that stage. Okay, those are all vehicles then. Yeah, unfortunately. And everything was being lined up. Unfortunately, I can't focus. Okay. <laughs> I guess this is. I have a card here which says, "Hello, my love. Tokyo calling. We'll see. We'll soon be there." <laughs> All right. Turn that around, you maybe. Yep. Yeah, just. Okay, hold it just like that. I'll see if I can. Yeah. Let me try something here. Yeah. But, uh, okay. I got that. Okay. And there's you with a tank. There's a cartoon. Oh, V Mail. Okay, let me see if I can get a better shot of that one picture now with the vehicles all lined up. Wow, well, that is quite a lineup. You want me to turn that page? No, that's that's okay. That's about as good as I can get it. Okay. Okay, you want to hold that up? Oh yeah, it looks like him. Let's see if I can focus in on him. That's oh yeah, that's MacArthur, all right. Okay, all right, got him. Okay. Interestingly, if I, if my memory is well. My memory. Uh, I think we were the first troops in the Philippines, mm -hmm. in Mindanao. Okay. Now, did you ever see any uh, Japanese POWs at all? <clears throat> yes, I did. Mm -hmm. 
I don't remember where, but yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Did you have any contact at all with the uh, natives of New Guinea? Yes. I was also a PX officer, mm -hmm. which meant I handled movies also. Mm -hmm. And the colonel would uh, uh, entertain native people on other little islands. So I would go with the men and uh, a projector mm -hmm. and show movies to the people wherever we were, the natives that were. Uh-huh. I told you I did. I was also a general courts martial investigating officer. And I had to fly from one island to another island, tracking down uh, a killer, a killing, in one of the ammo companies. Hmm. I never found the guy, but I must have gone to four or five different locations flying uh -huh. uh, in these little planes. Okay. Now, how did the, uh, how did the natives react to the movies? Oh. Just showed movies. Mm -hmm. They had probably never no, seen anything no. like that. Okay. But uh, as my colonel said to me, it's just relations. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they'll see something moving on a screen. Mm -hmm. okay. Today, of course, New Guinea is part of the uh, uh, Indonesia. And originally it was. New Guinea was divided in half, Australian and uh, Dutch. Mm -hmm. Today it's all Indonesian. I see. Okay, well, anything else, sir? Anything else you can recall? You just brought back a lot of memories. <laughs> and in fact, thinking about this yesterday, for whatever reason, I burst into tears. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's quite normal. We we interview a lot of veterans that, that get teary eyed, so that's that's quite normal and that's fine. All right, well thank you, sir. It's my pleasure. Your colonel was after you had to read yes. a list? Okay. And he got the he whatever papers were needed I signed up and uh, but they were were returned because of a poor signature or something or other, I don't remember. And just about the same time, I don't remember exactly, but about the same time Red Cross sent this letter to me, I don't remember to me or to the army, I, I don't recall. So I, I let the papers go. Was that when your They're father was signing was up? Was that when your father was sick? Yes. Okay. Yes. It caught me by surprise, believe me. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. and he, let's see, that was 40, 46. He died in 50, a few years later. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you again. Did you get his, did you see his uniform jacket? Oh, no, no. I see it back there. If you want he to... laughed about it because he said to me this morning, see if it, M Macy's made it, and he <laughs> did, because maybe you wanted to try it out. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? Macy's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. You want me to try it out? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, if, if... Oh, he'd get into it. Oh, no, I don't need to try it on, but I mean... Uh... If you want to try it on, see if it yeah. still fits you. Let me, I, I tried it on. You know that. He can He can get I into it. it. Let, let me. Him. Let me see that patch on the shoulder. Just I turn. Oh, that's the South Pacific. I found out. Oh yeah. Okay. It's in the uh, U.S. Army Pacific. Let's put it on and because I, I, I'm entitled to another slash there. Oh, for your overseas stripes. Another half year, okay. six months. And that other thing is a presidential citation. Oh, okay. This one? Yeah, that is. No, you got to put it on because it's going to okay. be on tape. I want more. Can't proper. You don't have to button it. Just put it on, okay? <laughs> no. Come on. We went through all this. Do you want me to try to get into it? Yeah. Well, if you want, sure. Come on. <laughs> a little bit of humor attached to it. <laughs> Where's
Where's your hat? I'm gonna watch him. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, you better not let them see you wearing that. They, they might activate you again. <laughs> okay, got it. Got it? Yep.